If A and B are complementary angles, then the value of sin A cos B plus cos A sin B minus tan A tan B plus secant square A minus cot square B is dash 2, 0, 1, minus 1. Now, what do you mean by complementary angles? A and B are complementary angles means A plus B equals to 90 degrees. That's it. That's the only condition given to us in the question. So, indirectly he says that sum of A and B is 90. Right? Sum of A and B is 90. Similarly, you can say A and B are supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are those where the sum is 180. Right? Anyways, complementary angles. So, the sum of A and B has to be 90. Is there any other condition given with respect to A and B? No. So, we are free to choose any values for A and B. Within the constraint that sum has to be 90. So let me say that A equals to 45 and B equals to 45. Both A and B equals 45. Yes or no? 45 plus 45 is 90. And done. Substitute A and B as 45. So sin A cos B. What is sin A? Sin 45 1 by root 2 into cos B. Cos 45 1 by root 2 plus cos A sin B. Same 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 minus tan 45 is 1 into tan 45 is 1 plus secant square 45. See secant 45 is root 2. So, secant square 45 will be 2 minus cot uh, 45. Cot 45 is 1. Cot square 45 will be 1. Simplify now. 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 is 1 by 2. 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 is 1 by 2. Now, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. See, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 1. 1 and minus 1 gets cancelled. Yeah. So, what are we left with? 2 and minus 1 into 1. Minus 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So, the final answer to this question has to be option 3. As simple as that. It says the value of sin 39 by cos 51 plus 2 tan 11 into tan 31 into tan 45 into tan 59 into tan 79 minus 3 times of sin square 21 plus sin square 69 is. So, see what happens. Sin 39 by cos 51 can be taken as sin 39. Yes or no? See, you remember that conversion? Cos 51 is cos of 90 minus 39. And cos of 90 minus theta is sin theta. So, this becomes sin 39. Yeah. So, that's what we're trying to do here, right? Convert uh, the trigonometric ratio here. So, sin 39 by cos 51 becomes sin 39 by cos sin 39, which is equal to 1. Now, you have to do this mentally. You're not supposed to write this step on paper, right? You know that cos 51 is sin 39. So, sin 39, sin 39 gets cancelled and the first term is equal to 1 plus 2 times of you know let's say tan 11 as it is into tan 31 into tan 45 is 1 into tan 59 now again tan 59 is equal to cot uh, 31 and tan 79 is cot uh, 11 you understand same similar conversion right tan 59 is tan of 90 minus 31 tan of 90 minus 31 is cot 31 similarly tan 79 is tan of 90 minus 11 which is cot 11 minus 3 times of sin square 21 plus sin square 69 can be taken as cos square 21. Again, the same argument, right? Sin 30, 69 is sin of 90 minus 21. Sin of 90 minus 21 is cos 21. Now, simplify this. So, what will this be equal to? So, this gets cancelled. We get 1 plus. Here, tan 11 into cot 11 gets cancelled. Tan 31 into cot 31 also gets cancelled, right? These are reciprocal to each other, right? Reciprocal. So, these get cancelled. So, finally, we have 2 into 1 into 1 into 1 into 1. So, basically 2. So, 1 plus 2 minus 3 times of, see, sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1, right? The most important algebraic uh, trigonometric identity. Sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So, sin square 21 plus cos square 21 will be equal to 1. So, 1 plus 2, 3. 3 minus 3, 0. And that's your answer. Option 4. If tan theta equals to 1, then what is the value of 8 sin theta plus 5 cos theta divided by sin cube theta minus 2 cos cube theta plus 7 cos theta? Simple. Tan theta is equal to 1 implies theta is 45 degrees and done indirectly is given that theta is 45 substitute theta equals to 45 in the uh, expression here and simplify it to get the answer so 8 sin theta is 8 by root 2 because sin theta is 1 by 45 plus 5 cos theta is 5 by root 2 because cos theta is also cos 45 also 1 by root 2 divided by what is there in the denominator sin cube theta so sin theta is 1 by 2 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 whole cube will be 1 by 2 root 2 minus 2 cos cube theta is 2 by 2 root 2, right? Cos cube theta is also 1 by 2 root 2. Plus 7 cos theta. 7 cos theta is what? 7 by root 2. Simplify this. What happens? I think root 2 in the denominator gets cancelled. So, forget about that, right? Eliminate. So, in the numerator, we have 8 plus 5, 13 divided by the denominator is 1 plus, okay, and, and this is like 2 by 2, right? So, this is 1. Yeah. So, what do we have in the denominator? I mean, numerator was 8 plus 5, 13. Denominator is 1 by 2 
minus 1 plus 7. So basically minus 1 plus 7 is 6, 6 minus, uh, sorry, 6 plus 1 by 2. Yeah. 6 plus 1 by 2. 7 minus 1 is 6. 6 plus 1 by 2. So this makes it what? 13 upon, this is 13 by 2. So 13 and 13 gets cancelled and this 2 goes into the numerator. So finally we have 2 left, which is the answer, option 1. If sin theta plus cos theta by sin theta minus cos theta equals to 3, then the value of sin power 4 theta minus cos power 4 theta is. Yeah. So sin theta plus cos theta. I'm just writing the question again. You can avoid this step in the exam. Sin theta minus cos theta equals to 3. So cross multiply and you know get some uh, simplification, simplified form there. So what happens? Sin theta plus cos theta equals to 3 sin theta minus 3 cos theta. So I think what we will get is uh, 3 sin theta minus sin theta, 2 sin theta equals to cos theta plus 3 cos theta, 4 cos theta. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess we can, um, what do we do now? Sin theta equals to 2 cos theta. Sin theta equals to 2 cos theta. Yeah. Sin theta equals to 2 cos theta or maybe tan theta equals to 2, but how does that help us? Huh, so let's, let's see. I'll tell you what can be done. See sin theta by cos theta, tan theta equals to 2. Now, what do we do next? If tan theta is 2, like I said in the one of the earlier examples, you just construct a right angle triangle and draw this trigonometric, I mean consider this trigonometric ratio. Tan theta is 2. Let's say this is theta. What is tan theta? Opposite side by adjacent side. I can take 2 as 2 by 1. So, this is like opposite side by adjacent side. Yeah. So, opposite side should be 2. Adjacent side has to be 1. In that case, what will be the hypotenuse? Root over 2 squared plus 1 squared. Pythagoras theorem. So, which is root 5. So basically, from the given trigonometric ratio tan theta equals to 2, I can find out the sides of the right angle triangle. Opposite side is 2, adjacent side is 1 and the hypotenuse is root 5. Now, can we find out what is sin theta and cos theta from this? Yes. So we can now consider uh, sin theta, sin theta as, uh, sin theta is what? Opposite side by adjacent side, so 2 by root 5. And cos theta is adjacent side, sorry, sin theta is opposite side by hypotenuse, so 2 by root 5. Cos theta is adjacent side by hypotenuse, so 1 by root 5. Substitute these values of sin theta and cos theta in the given equation. In fact, the given equation also can be simplified. You see, sin power 4 theta minus cos power 4 theta can be considered as sin square theta plus cos square theta into sin square theta minus cos square theta. And this step can be reduced if you can visualize the, I mean, if you can visualize this. This is like a plus b into a minus b, right? a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. So a is sin square theta, b is cos square theta. So a plus b into a minus b, a square minus b square. So sin power 4 theta minus cos power 4 theta. We know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. This is equal to 1. So that gets reduced simply as sin square theta minus cos square theta. What is sin square theta? Sin theta is 2 by root 5. So 2 by root 5 whole square minus cos theta is 1 by root 5, 1 by root 5 whole square. So that's like 4 by 5 minus 1 by 5. 4 by 5 minus 1 by 5 is 3 by 5. Option 3 is your answer. So I think this, this part is very important, right? What I'm going to highlight here is very important. When you when you know tan theta equals to 2, consider that to be the you know trigonometric ratio in terms of sides of a right angle triangle, right? So construct the right angle triangle and then get trigonometric ratios. This approach is very, very useful, right? You can solve a lot of questions using this, this technique of uh, right angle triangle. Right. Let's say tan theta comes out to be 1 by 5, for example, if tan theta comes out to be 1 by 5. Opposite side is 1, adjacent side is 5. What will be the hypotenuse? Root over 1 square plus 5 square. Yeah, root 26. Then take sin theta, cos theta accordingly, whatever trigonometric ratio, substitute in the given equation to get the answer. Okay, so option 3, 3 by 5 is the answer to this question.